Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm so pissed right now because uh, it's 1.45 and I've been filming all day since this morning, literally since this morning and I just went to go upload the first half video for like the first 15 minutes and I'm allowed, YouTube allows me to upload and it all deleted. Like the whole thing. I don't have a lot of space. I have a 64 gig phone and I don't really have that much space. Um, so I had to delete all my videos. So when I went to go delete all the videos, it deleted all the clips from that I've been filming since this morning. So try not to let that get me down and stop filming for the day. So I'm just going to keep going and we're just going to pick up from here. So it's 1.45. Madison had lunch. We went to the hair place. My sister got her hair done. I walked in and I said, any chance you can just make the bottom a little bit darker because I had a blonde um, balayage. So the girl just threw on, um, what is it, shades, I think it is. And it's like a temporary color at the bottom or temporary, I don't know, glaze. And so it's like not as blonde anymore, which I like that. So it just like dulls it a little bit. So yeah, we are waiting for my sister and we're gonna go to Target again. Day two of Target. And Madison's gonna need to nap soon. So talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so before I go to Target, I just wanted to show you guys because I unboxed it before, but we lost that clip. So anyways, I'm probably gonna be saying that all freaking day now, like the rest of the day, like what happened, so whatever. But Glow Minerals, I ordered this. Um, it's a cream bronzer and it's like beautiful. It's like a perfect color because it's not too warm so it's not like too orangey but it's not like um too cool tone so it's not like too gray or anything and it's so creamy and really pigmented it's like here i'll show you i just watched it it's like perfect color and it blends out like really really good i tried to just put like a little bit on before um because i have really bad dry skin and i wanted like a cream product to help so you don't like see um like the makeup on my face so yeah between that and like fix plus is like perfect if you have like dry skin and then i also got this moisturizer cyto lux it's called and it's you can't really see but the bottle is like huge i don't even know how many ounces it's 200 milliliters 6.7 fluid ounces it's a really big bottle and this is basically like an anti-aging lotion for your body which i never really thought about that like i'm always like all about my face so I got this and it's a pump and it comes out like, let me see, Ugh. yeah, it's just like a cream and it like blends in like really smoothly. I'm just, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but it like blends in like really smooth and it absorbs into your skin like really quickly and it's like really, really hydrating. So really glad for that and so glad for a pump because pump moisturizers are so much quicker. Like sometimes I don't have time for like moisturizer. I just have to like throw my clothes on and go. So really happy to have that with a pump. It'll make it so much easier. So we're going to Target because the Minnie Mouse shirt I bought Madison yesterday is like way too big. Need to return that. And I need to return my fur coat because it's too big on me. It's a medium, but I don't know, I don't like the way it fits. It looks little, it's like too baggy, my mom said. So, we're gonna go do that. See you guys in a little we're bit. We're going to Target, but then we had decided we're gonna go where, everyone? We're gonna go to Whole Foods first. We're gonna get Mass and some easy things to chew, but still some textured things, because she's sick of eating mushy, mushy baby food. So, you ready to go, girl? What? You ready to go? Jackie O, let's put your hat on. Have a kiss. Hi. Say hi, friends. Ow. Hey, baby. See you in a minute. Excuse me. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? 
<laughs> First time having raspberry, what do you think? Not sure? You gonna go for more? No? So I'm sitting in the car, um, Madison took a nap, is taking a nap right now, and my mom ran to Target, and then I'm gonna run really quick, like, after she does, cause I don't want Madison to, um, wake up, I wanna give her a little bit of a nap, she was a little cranky when we were in, um, Whole Foods, but I was saying earlier in my vlog, like, how I, like, stay positive, and, oh, there's one right there. And he's, like, watching me record myself, but anyways, so... I was record I was saying like how I stay positive like I feel like once I turn 30 and I had a baby like I'm not as I don't really let like negativity or like other people's drama like affect my life like I still like wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm a very like sensitive person but I've built like like a thicker skin since I focus like most of my energy on like what makes me like the most happy in my life which is Madison so having that like focus just like makes everything else like not be not as not important anymore so like I don't care like I let things go and I just like pretend not to hear some things because it's just like you only get one life to live and like my friends will like most people who like know my heart know that I am like a very full of life person that's like the number one thing I think people would say most about me is like I just like love life like I love living I love being happy and I just like crazy like I'm I don't know crazy in like a funny way I guess you can say and I just like especially like since turning 30 i don't know for some reason it's just like i'm taking my own advice like i've always been like the one to give advice to friends and when they were like going through like hard times and stuff like that and now like i feel like i finally take my own advice and i just don't let negativity in my life i just distance myself number one thing is like distance yourself from people who you don't like you just know you don't get along with or you just like don't agree with like the way that they live or the way that they make choices in their life and you won't be affected by that negativity and you can just like even if you make your circle small like that's the best thing to do because it's not about like quantity it's definitely like about quality I feel like as you get older like when you're younger you're like in high school and you think like that's like your life you think that like everything is like all like revolves around you and high school like all like clicky and everything like I hated high school I hated everyone in my high school like all the girls like I just I don't know like I got made fun of like bullied when I was in like elementary school and people are just mean like and it's just getting worse but anyway so I'm just like rambling right now but what I was just saying was like how I say positive I just wanted to like share that because I feel like once when you focus your life on your number one thing that makes you like the most happy everything else like doesn't seem as important anymore like you realize life we have to put into perspective like you only get one life to live like tomorrow or like the next minute is never promised to you and it's so true like once you when, when you're like older you start realizing like not i mean this sounds like so depressing but like when things happen to you you really do like you learn from that and then you just like appreciate your life even more and you appreciate your days that you have here on your earth on earth and you just want to make the best of your time that you have you know with the people that you have to spend it with i mean i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say and it came it's not coming across as good as it did like earlier when i was talking about this like it was in the morning when i was like waiting for my sister at the hair place but i don't know i just i just for anyone who's like struggling or just like having a bad 
experiences it like keeps happening like i have a friend who just has like some struggles in her life like everything just seems to like always be a struggle for her but she always seems to like remain positive because she always has that goal to like just be better and just like do better or just i don't know i don't know what keeps her going but it's like the most amazing thing it's like so inspiring like there's so many people in my life that are inspiring like my dad says life is 10 percent of what happens to you and 90 percent how you react to it and that is like my bible <laughs> that's like what i live by because if you really think about it like you can't control what other people say or do but you can control how you feel or how you let that make yourself feel and like since hitting since i turned like 30 like i just don't give a shit anymore i really don't like i love myself and everyone like makes fun of me like about it especially like my sister but like i do i really love myself i love the person who i am right now and no one's really gonna get in my head and just like make me feel bad about anything because i know how i feel about myself and like no, so other people's opinions don't matter if it's not true so fuck them like <laughs> sorry but really though because you think about it the more the more people like talk shit about other people or the more people have to say about you is like the more really it's like more about themselves and it's more about like their negativity in their life that they don't like about themselves projecting it on you and like trying to make you feel bad or make you insecure about really how they feel about themselves and that's like so deep and so like i don't know but that's like the truth of life and once you figure that out and once you that becomes your truth psh, you're good and it's not about building a wall up it's not about like shutting people out it's about it's just like about like knowing yourself and being just happy with who's with you like and you're like who you are and that's like the greatest thing i've been learning in my 30s so i figured i'd just share that with everyone <laughs> whoever's watching me ramble but i'm gonna go into target in a minute and just exchange all my stuff that i needed to exchange but it's like really like sunny out still so I'm just put these bad boys on i'm like queen of sunglasses i just like love them i have a million pairs these ones are i don't even know they're like the retro retro looking ones you like my segue from like a deep combo to like talking about sunglasses like that's so me though like i'm so deep but then i just like love stuff too but these are dolce and gabbana these ones are i think they're so adorable they like cover half your face when you're just like having an ugly day so i will talk to you guys in a little bit ah Oh, hello. So, we're just hanging out right now. We just got back from Target. I did end up getting that sweater. Uh, I'm going to wear it just like with like a plain t-shirt tomorrow, I think, for the kids' Christmas party. And you guys will see that because I will totally be vlogging in tomorrow. Mass and just eat. I just got her some like organic um, like pasta sauce for the first time she had it. She loves it. Just trying to like get more things with flavor for her because I feel bad. I feel like she just has like plain things. So yeah, we're just hanging out now. I have a huge mess right now in front of me to clean. Uh, Madison decided to go through her diaper bag a little bit while well, I was editing the end of this vlog. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the kids Christmas party. Yeah, so I hope it wasn't too depressing. <laughs> no, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!